Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about section 5.2 and the topics that will be discussed are listed right in front of you. And once again, just in case uh, you're having any questions or if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video and review it, rewind it, whatever, just to make sure that you get the information. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking about a weighted graph first. And a weighted graph is, what, is a graph where each edge has an assigned number or weight, as it's called in the textbook. Now, if you notice the graph that's given to you uh, or that you're looking at, we have uh, cities um, in the United States, Minneapolis, uh, St. Louis, uh, New Orleans, and then Chicago. And all the different edges represent um, distances from, that, from those particular cities. And all the distances will be in miles. Okay? Pretty simple. The next uh, thing we're going to be talking about is what is called a traveling salesman problem. And a traveling salesman problem is really kind of like exactly what it's called. Picture yourself as a traveling salesman. You are leaving one city and you have to go to all the other different cities and get back to your starting point. Now, that is actually called a Hamiltonian circuit, if you remember from last chapter, where if you start at one vertex, you go to every other vertex and get back to your starting point and you don't have to use the same uh, edge or you can't use the same edge more than once and you don't have to use them all. So let's go ahead and dive into a traveling salesman problem. And here we have a graph, uh, you've seen it before, this is all the different um, cities. Now what you're going to do is we are going to start building a, a tree graph and you, we'll talk more about that later from this information just to display. So we are going to start from St. Louis. Now from St. Louis we are to travel to all the different uh, or all the other different cities and get back to St. Louis. Now here's how you would represent that in a graph. Okay, So we are going to start our tree diagram with St. Louis. This is our starting point. I'm just going to use St. St. S as St. Louis. So from St. Louis notice that we have three choices that we can go to. We can either go to New Orleans, we could either go to Chicago, or we can go to Minneapolis. So we have three options there. Now here's how you represent the fact that you have three different choices on where to go. Is where from your starting point, St. Louis, you would actually branch out three different times. Like this. And so you could either have gone to, if you remember, New Orleans, which I'll represent with this an N, you could have gone to Chicago, and then you could have gone to Minneapolis. Okay. Now, if you were to go to New Orleans, you would have gone 670 miles. Remember, each edge needs to be labeled with a uh, distance here. St. Louis to Chicago would have been 270 miles, and then from St. Louis to Minneapolis would have caught or would have been 550 miles. Okay, so let's just say, uh, just at randomness, we decided to go to New Orleans. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and graph my um, or highlight my route. So the first thing I went to was New Orleans. Okay. Now from New Orleans, once again, I have a choice. I can either go to Chicago or I could have go to Minneapolis. Now how would you represent that on a graph? Once again, we're over here. So we are going to branch off to Chicago or branch off to Minneapolis. All right. Remember, every time you branch off represents the fact that you had a choice. Okay. So we could have went to Chicago or we could have went to Minneapolis. Okay, now if we would have went to Chicago, that would have been 910 miles. If we went to Minneapolis, it would have been 1,260. Okay, well let's just say we decided to go to Chicago. Okay, so we decided to go to Chicago, so let me erase this. And I think my eraser was too big, so let me redraw this. So let's see, St. Louis, New Orleans, and then we went to Chicago. Okay, so let's just say we went to Chicago. Well, from Chicago, you only have one choice. Now, you could say, well, I had two. I could actually go to St. Louis. No, you can't, because remember, you have to go to every city exactly once. So from Chicago, you have to go to Minneapolis, okay? Because remember, you have to go to every um, every city more than, or exactly once. So from Chicago to uh, Minneapolis, let's see, that was, let's see, Minneapolis, which is here, which was 400 miles, 
And then from here, from Minneapolis, remember you got to create a Hamiltonian circuit, which means you got to go back to your starting point. So from Minneapolis to St. Louis, there you go. Now I just created my first uh, circuit here. So if I was to draw another line, here you go here, back to St. Louis, that would have been an additional 550 miles for a grand total of, so if I was to go ahead and add all this up, I would get I would get a total of 2,530 miles for that one particular circuit. Okay, so that was 2,530 miles. But if you notice, let's look at this little branch of our tree here which is Minneapolis. We stopped there. We got to keep building that back out. So if you remember, we started at St. Louis, then we went to New Orleans, and then we went all the way to Minneapolis. Okay. Now from here, remember, you have to com complete a Hamiltonian circuit. So I'm going to go to Chicago, and then from Chicago, I'm going to go back to St. Louis. Okay. So the way that I would write that is from Minneapolis, I went to Chicago and then went back to St. Louis. So if I was to write that as a, uh, let's say I went to Chicago and then went back to my starting point, which was St. Louis. <coughs> okay, so I just branched out that. So Minneapolis, that would be 400. And then Chicago would be 270 back to St. Louis. So if I was to add up that, uh, if I was to add up this starting point all the way to that starting point, I would end up with 2,600 miles traveled, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you are going to continue this concept or this procedure all the way throughout your entire diagram. So, if you know, going to uh, this branch right here, so that means I went to St. Louis to Chicago. Now, from Chicago, I can either go to New Orleans or I can go to Minnesota, okay? So, once again, I'm going to represent that in a graph by branching it out going to New Orleans and then going to Minnesota. So, um, let's see. So, I'm in New Orleans. I can go here or I can go to, Min on, I think I said Minnesota, I'm in Minneapolis, sorry. And then, once again, I'm going to put in my uh, distance traveled here. Now, it's a kind of a lengthy process. It's a pretty lengthy process. And, I mean, it, it's kind of involved because you are writing all the different Hamiltonian circuits that you can go to. So I'm just going to kind of speed this up. Let's say if I, Chicago to uh, New Orleans. So if I went to New Orleans, then I would go back to St. Louis. So I'm just going to kind of, so I went to, going to Chicago. Let's say I went to New Orleans. I'm sorry, I messed up. I should have gone to St. to see what happens when you speed up. Sometimes you make mistakes. All right, so it's not going to New Orleans to Minneapolis. It's going to New Orleans all the way over to Minneapolis, then back to St. Louis. There we go. So that's the circuit there. So um, New Orleans to Minnesota and then to our starting point, which was St. Louis. And I'm going to speed this up. Uh, St. Louis to Chicago. Then if I went to Minneapolis, let me Let's see. So let me kind of erase this here. So let's say I went to Chicago or to Chicago, then I went to Minneapolis, then I would have to go to New Orleans and then go back to St. Louis. So if I was going to write that, that would be Minneapolis to New Orleans and then back to St. Louis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just fill out the rest of this chart. I'm going to pause it here. And so, uh, just to kind of speed it up. So I went ahead and sped it up, and hit, this is our entire tree diagram according to our uh, graph that we dealt with. So if you notice, here's all of our final answers here. here. Here's everything put together. But I want you to kind of observe a couple things. That is this. Notice that we have duplicate answers. We have a 2530 here. We have a 2530 here. We have a... Uh, 2,900 here, 2,990 here, and then lastly we have a 2,600. Now, why are you having duplicate answers? Well, that's because of the fact that, I don't know if you can observe this, but these routes are exactly the same that I'm highlighting. The only difference is they're in reverse order. One is to St. Louis to Minneapolis, 
and the other one is the exact reverse order. So if you're doing this correctly, you're going to have duplicate answers, okay? Now, according to the tree diagram, the shortest path is St. Louis to, Min to Minneapolis, Chicago, or it could be this right here, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, other than that, hope you understood it. Thank you. Thank you.